It's time to beat the clock. Lights of Broadway, sights of Broadway, sounds of Broadway all around. And there above shines the Pennsylvania, pioneering light, sight, and sound. Finer products, better products, tested quality. Made for you by Pennsylvania, pioneer for half a century. Beat the clock, brought by Pennsylvania. Beat the clock. To entertain ya, it's time to play Beat the Clock! And now, here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Collier! <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, and welcome once more to Beat the Clock, the show where you can have the time of your life playing against time for big-time prizes. Just in case some of you don't know, from time to time we like to tell you that the voice that you hear putting this show on the air each week belongs to Bern Bennett, who deserves a round of applause, too. So let's give Bern a hand, shall we? Now, if you come over here with me, I want you to meet our holdover contestants from last week, Mr. and Mrs. Donald Worrell. Or Warrell, which Warrell. Is, Warrell. Don, Mr. Donald Warrell of, of uh, what is it? Sanisville. Sanisville, Pennsylvania. You drive a truck out there, don't That's you, Don? Right. And you have two children. Two girls. Now, I think we were talking to you backstage. You said you had a little mishap today. What happened? Well, uh, baby uh, Donnie swallowed a pin. And we don't know whether she swallowed it or not, so we had to go to the doctor to get a fluoroscope. Everything all right? Or, so far, yes. So far, everything is okay. Yes. Is it a little girl? or little baby girl, eight months. Eight months old. Yeah. Boy, they get everything in the mouth, don't they? As fast as they can. Well, now, just you calm down now. Relax yourselves a little bit. Have a little fun with us. I want to explain, too, that we have a new bonus tonight. Brand spanking new. And remember, last week, those of you who might not have been with us, for shame, our bonus went last week at $700. Guy just went along with that thing, picked that ball up in that pot with just about 10 seconds gone, and there it was. Stayed right in there. Didn't roll out for nothing. So now we start with a new one tonight that'll be worth $100. Wherever the bell happens to ring, that'll be the time that we will uh, manage to uh, have a person try for the bonus. Now, if you'd seen what I just saw, you would have stopped too. All right, now, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Warrell of Sandersville, Pennsylvania, uh, a problem for you is something you started last week, as a matter of fact. So will you uh, come over here with me? And do you want to hang your coat up there? You can if you want to. Would you like to? Work without your coat. Be a little better, all right? And you come over here with me. Miss uh, Warrell, you just kind of hold good thoughts there for him now, because he's going to be a busy man. For the folks who uh, weren't watching last week, you can take a hold of that if you want to, uh, Don. Uh, he has to stack these boxes up, one on top of the other. Now, that in and of itself doesn't seem too hard. I'll leave one up there for you. Uh, we'll have a little balloon here. Thank you very much, Mal. This is filled with helium. If you let go of it, up in the air she goes. So Don's problem is, using that little pad that we have there, made out of cardboard and wood, he has to hold that balloon from going up in the air Simply under that, like that. Can't press it down against the ground and can't hold it against his body. And while he's holding that trap with one hand, he has to put the boxes up with the other. Take a look at the clock. See how many seconds you had there, Don. 55 seconds from the time I say go. Are you ready? Get it trapped under there now. Got it? Go. But I want your little girl to go swallow any pins each time you have to come back here like that. Who's taking care of the baby? We've got a babysitter now. A babysitter now, I see. What's the other, a little boy? Oh, girl. Okay. That's a little girl. Did we give you a little Roxanne doll last week for her? We no, we'll get them tonight. Yeah? Well, we, we get you one tonight. That's what I want for each of them, as a matter of fact, and grow up to it. Okay, well, now we're going to find out what your problem is on the jackpot clock. That's all yours. You keep thinking about it now. Mrs. Uh, Warrell, it's your turn. And, Don, you, if you will stand way down there, you can't help your wife in any way. All you can do is hold good thoughts, and I hope you will for her. Mrs. Warrell, you stand on the far end of that platform. I'll tell you when to get up on the platform. And back of this curtain, as you probably know, is our famous magnetic jackpot board. On it are all of the words of a famous saying or quotation, but they're all mixed up out of order. You've got to move them around on the board so that you wind up with them spelling out, just as you'd write the sentence if you were writing it, the famous saying or quotation that we're after in 20 seconds from the time I say go. Do you understand? Okay. Open the curtain. 
Get up on the platform. Go. idea, but you're wrong. You're wrong. You've got just five seconds. Okay, stop the clock. Fair the rod and spoil the tire. We got it. Right. Well, now, you've beaten our jackpot clock, so let's see what you've won. Just take a look over here. Mr. and Mrs. Worrell, your prize is Sylvania's exquisite console, the Montclair, with genuine hand-rubbed mahogany inlay doors. Large 21-inch movie clear television with surrounding halo light for the greatest viewing comfort in all television. The Montclair is outstanding in performance and design. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Worrell. You've just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. Who are our next contestants? But we have Mr. and Mrs. Ray uh, Richter from Dalton, Illinois. My goodness, somebody was nervous with this car. Look at it all crumpled up here. Was that you, Ms. Richter? Huh? No, it wasn't. Well, welcome to our show. Nice to have you here. Ray, is it? Yes. Ray, nice to have you here, too. Uh, what do you do? Uh, transportation Department, Indiana Harbor Belt Railroad. I see, and you, you have three children, is that right? Two stepsons and one daughter. Well, isn't that nice? Okay. Well, now, we're going to have a little problem for you in which the, the two of you are going to have to do a little uh, clothes changing. But don't get excited. It's not quite the sort of a thing you might think. If you come over here, I'll show you what it is on the $100 clock. Miss Richter, the reason we put you in those coveralls was so you could step in quite modestly into this box over here. Would you mind doing that? Just step up on that little step and step right in there. That's the idea. Now, uh, Ray, if you just step in that box over there. You good, let's see. First step, see? Nobody wants to use this. I'll get up on it, then I'll be up in the world. How's that? Now, you notice that in the box that you're in, we have a lot of men's garments. You notice that, Miss Richter? There they are, see? Now, they should obviously be in your husband's box over here. You have a lot of women's garments. Pick one of those up and show the audience, will you? And just the, the, the dress here. That's a lovely woman's garment. There we are. We're going to assume they're all women's garments. And the, what you have to do is exchange these things so that you wind up with all of those clothes that are in there now over here in this box, and you put everything that's in that box in this box. Doesn't sound very high, does it? There's only one little catch in it, and that is this. We are going to have you squat down in these boxes. We're going to put lids on them. And what you have to exchange is through these holes in the front of the box. <laughs> you have to push those clothes out there, toss them over where he can reach them. You do the same thing with those clothes. Toss them over here where she can reach them. When you've got them all exchanged, we'll stop the clock, and you'll beat the clock if you do it within the record. Beg pardon? You can't handle You can, but you've got to do it through that hole. I don't care how you do it. If you can reach that far, that's up to you. Take a look over your shoulder and see how many seconds you have. 40 seconds from the time I say go, squat down, put the lids on, go! I've ever had anybody enjoy a stunt so much. When you got through getting all your clothes in there, you started to hand them right back out again. <laughs> you didn't want to keep them in there for any of this. All right. The bonus. You get the right in the bonus. That's $100. And Ms. Richter, you stand right there and watch him see how well he does. Come on, bring out the new bonus, will you, girls? Say, now that looks interesting. I like it. Always give you heavy things. Girls, oh, come on. Oh, come on, girls, look. Ah, dee -dee -dee. <laughs> well, you missed that. We had a great production number all scheduled there, but nothing happened. So we'll try to do it for you next week. Okay, uh, let's see now. Ray, suppose you come on over here. You can look this thing over while I'm getting it untied here. I have here, you see, a pail, and it's on a pulley. See? Now, your problem is going to be simply this. 
standing back here, and not going back any further than this curtain at any time, and by jerking this tail, you'll find that you can make it move around a little bit and ultimately swing. And as it starts to swing, you see, you get it to swing over toward this bench, and finally get it so that it lands on the bench upright. Here it comes over here now, see? Just by swinging it back and forth like that, you wind up with that tail on this bench upright like this, and we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Got the idea? Okay, now let's take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 45 seconds from the time I say go. Are you ready? Go! Worth $100, Steve boy. Try. That was strictly a bonus, you understand? That would have been $100 extra, but you don't lose anything by having tried it. You can still move on now to our $200. Okay, Miss Richter, your children are how old? Two boys, 11 and 8, and a little girl, 5 months. Oh, little girl, 5 months. She's too young for one of our Roxanne dolls yet, isn't she? Well, maybe we can still have them around. When she gets a little older, you let us know. All right, uh, Ray, we got you all dressed up there for a very definite reason. Do you cook eggs for your husband in the morning? Yes. How's he like them best? Hmm? Do you like fried eggs? He does. Oh, well, come on. We got a new way of frying eggs. Come on over here, will you? Come over, both of you, with me. All right, let's bring out our little uh, model kitchen, shall we? Girls, you're falling down on me tonight. We're really tableaus. They're just not paying off. Come on, would you come up here with me? And, Ray, since you did so much work there, we're going to give you a shower cap to keep your hair from falling down in your eyes and ask you to sit on the edge of this platform uh, facing the audience. And then lie back with your head on uh, those pillows. They're going to make you just as comfortable as can be on this one, you see? What's the matter, Miss Richter? Huh? Huh? Anything wrong? No. You suspecting something? I think I am. You are. Well, let's see what happens. Now, suppose you step up back here. There's a place for you to stand, right up there. <laughs> hey, Ray. How you doing? No hard feelings, huh? Okay. Now, Miss Richter, while you're up high there, uh, we're going to give you a supply of eggs, raw eggs. There's some right there. You can take one out. Show it to the audience, will you? There it is. Now, what you do when I say go is you start one by one carefully tapping and cracking those eggs on any part of this edge up here, and then you simply drop one in this frying pan. See it down here? <laughs> Just get one egg in the frying pan, and we stop the clock, and you beat the clock. It's as simple as that. But this frying pan is very tricky. Watch it. Look at that. <laughs> All you have to do is get one egg in the frying pan. We'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Let's take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 35 seconds, get one egg in there. Are you ready? Go. there with that one and the other one went in the frying pan. We got one egg apiece in two different pans is what we got. <laughs> okay, that moves you through the $200 clock up now to try for the jackpot clock. So here, if you will step down that far end of this platform, I'll tell you when to get up on it. Back of this curtain is our magnetic board, our jackpot board, all the words of a famous saying or quotation all mixed up. Get them unmixed. Move them around till they're back in order in 20 seconds. Do you understand? Okay, open the curtain. Step up on the platform. Go. Move them around, quick, until they spell out the thing we want. Just left to right, just like you'd write it in a sentence. Garden her rolling. Okay, hold, stop the clock a minute. She one dropped off, and I know she knew where it went, so put it back again. Go. Stop the clock. East side, west side, all around the what? Where's the rest of the work? Oh, here it is. Move, move, quick. Hurry up. 
Who down there? There it is. My goodness, you almost didn't get it right. I almost called you right when you weren't right. East side, west side, all around the town is what it was. So that means you've beaten our jackpot clock. Let's see what you've won. Just take a look over here. Mr. and Mrs. Richter, your prize is Sylvania's exquisite console, the Montclair, with genuine hand-rubbed mahogany inlay doors. Large 21-inch movie clear television with surrounding halo light for the greatest viewing comfort in all television. The Montclair is outstanding in performance and design. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Richter. You have just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. My congratulations to you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Roxanne, whom do we have now? We have the, right, the goodness, look at here. family and all her children, hey, Francis, oh, Barbara, and Elizabeth, right? From Bronx, New York. Bronx, New York. Well, that's wonderful. Let's see now. Come on out here. Let's meet you kids. How are you? Huh? You're the oldest, are you? Your name is? Barbara. Barbara. How old are you? Ten. Ten years old. And how about you, young fella? You're the youngest? Yes. How old are you? Five. Five six. years? Six. Boy, I'm telling you, you don't know about inflation yet, do you? What's your name? Elizabeth. You're Elizabeth, and you're how old? Eight. Well, wonderful. I'll tell you something, girls. If you go back there and pick up each one of those dolls, they're for you. There are Roxanne dolls. Bring them out here so the audience can see them. That's it. There we are. How about that? Sure they squeak. See, you can do them all kinds of noises and things. Aren't they pretty? That's one for each of you. And you, young fella, go back over there and pick up that hat. See it down there? Pick it up carefully now, and let's put it on you here. Come on out here. Let everybody see you in it. That's it. There you go. Pull down your goggles. There you are. Taking off now with Bill Shipley. How about that? And there's a kit for you right back there. You take that right along with you. In the meantime, you stand by and watch Mom and Pop while we have a few stunts for them. How are you, Mrs. Scott? I didn't get a chance to talk to you. S-C-O-T-T-I, is that right? And you do what? Frank? Uh, do they call you Frank or Frank? Yeah, sure. Which do you prefer? Frank. Frank. What do you do? Purchasing agent. Purchasing agent. All right. Now, let's see what uh, your wife can do. Is she a fisherman? Do you, does she fish at all? Huh? No. She doesn't. I think you ought to take your pretty hat off for this one because you have to do a little fishing for us now. If you'll come over here with me, I'll show you what it is. This is on the $100 clock, and if you'll stand right over here, Betty will give you a fishing pole, which you can hold. Are you right-handed, are you? Hold it in your right hand. That's the idea. And I'll show you that on the end is a little spoon. Now, I'm going to place a marshmallow in the spoon. And all we want you to do is to eat the marshmallow. That's all. It's as simple as that. Now, I'm going to place the spoon on the floor carefully so the marshmallow does not get dirty. And I want you to look over your shoulder and see how many seconds you have. 45 seconds, and in that time, without using your other hand and without using your body in any way, other than to bite that marshmallow out of there, just lift it up off the floor and bring it in close enough to you so you can bite the marshmallow out of the spoon. If one drops out, we'll replace it, okay? You ready? Go! All right, hold it, stop the clock. Now bring it up very slowly, Miss Scotty, because it, it you know, if you jump it that fast, why, it, it'll, it'll drop right out. Very slowly, ready? Go! Ready? Carefully now. Get it started. Go! The kids got some little prizes, and we have something special for you. Uh, Betty, here we are. There is one of our Sylvania radios just for you for being such a good sport. I'm awful sorry you didn't get the marshmallow to eat, but I think you'll enjoy listening to our Sylvania radio better. Thanks so much for being with us. Nice to have you here tonight. Bye, kids. We'll get to the boxes later. Okay, Roxanne, who are our next contestants? Fred, we have Mr. and Mrs. Ralph Fashionpower from Warren, Ohio. Well, how do you do? Mr. and Mrs. Fashionpower, is that right? Fashionpower. Fashionpower. Fashion power. Uh, what do you do out there in Warren, Ohio? Automobile sales. 
Automobile said, business is all right with you, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> How long married, Mrs. Fashion Power? Thirteen years. Children? Mm-hmm. Boy, 11, and a girl, seven. Oh, are they here tonight? I'd love, no, I'd love to say hello to them. Well, you go right ahead. Right in that camera there. Wave Thank at them you. there. They're probably... Hi, Davy and Janie. There they are. Okay, now they're all taken care of. They can go to bed happy. And uh, we're going to find out what your problem is on the $100 clock. That's the one we all start on in just a now. Mr. and Mrs. Fashion Power, if you both come over here with me, we have a little cooperative stunt for both of you. Now, Miss Fashbar, I'm going to ask you to go up in the world a little bit. Will you step up to the second step on that step ladder? Thank you very much, Madeline. That's it, the second step. There we are. Okay, you notice that here is the supply of cups and saucers. Now, if I asked you to put a saucer, and then a cup, and then a saucer, and then a cup, there's nothing particularly hard about it, is there? And that's exactly what you have to do. Nothing more and nothing less. Uh, but your wife is going to do the balance. She's going to put the, cut, the saucer, then the cup, and the saucer, then the cup. You simply hold this. Do you understand? Let's take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 45 seconds. The only difference in the way I did it and the way you do it is you have to balance it in your hand like that. See? That's the general idea. You got it? Now, which hand is your best bet? You left-handed? Okay, boy. 45 seconds to get two cups and two saucers. Are you ready? Go. Take your thumb away from it. Take your thumb away. Get it balanced and free there, boy. Get it balanced and free. It's a little harder here, isn't it? Well, Mr. and Miss Fashion Power, that whipped you right fast through the $100 clock, and the $200 clock is coming right up now. This is something where you're going to have to really fight your way out of something, believe me. You know, we put you in a certain position, and you just got to fight your way out. That's all there is to it. So, uh, can I help you with that, Madeline? I'll be glad to. All right, will you both come over here with me, please? Here we are. <laughs> okay, my, you girls have so many things, haven't you? I have to get it straightened out. That's the idea. Let's just kind of leave it loose on the floor there. That's it. Now, would you just sort of step into the center of that, and a little to the right, and you step in alongside your wife, if you will. Yeah, just right next to her. That's it. Now, would you each put on these boxing gloves? Put them on as quickly as you can. Put on the boxing gloves. That's it. One on each hand. There we are. Okay, now we're going to put blindfolds on you. Shall I take your hat on? I'm kidding. Okay, I'll put it over here, Madeline. That's the idea the blindfolds on. Tell us when you can't see a thing. Can't see anything at all. All right, now I'll tell you what we're going to do. If you will ooch down just a little bit, we're going to zip this mattress cover right over you, right over your head. Move right over you we'll get some slack up here and ooch down. There we come. Zip it right over them tight. All right. Now, let me tell you what you have to do and listen carefully. First of all, I'll tell you how many seconds you have by our Sylvania clock. 50 seconds. Somewhere in the outside surface of this mattress cover, there are two holes large enough to put your head out. If either one of you finds it and sticks your head out of either one of the holes, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. You can't remove your boxing gloves or your, your blindfolds. Are you ready? Go. Unzip and get them out of there fast. Boy, you did that the hardest possible way, I'm telling you. The hand was sticking out at the same time as the head was. You couldn't get one back until the other one out. Oh. Say, aren't, aren't you? 
That's the signal that tells me that our time is all used up. Aren't you glad you did your hair before you came to the show tonight? <laughs> I thought you would be. Can you come back next week? Yes. Because we still have the jackpot clock to do. That'll be the first thing you'll do. It'll be our first contestant. See you then. Good luck to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bud Collier speaking for Sylvania, hoping that next time may be your time to beat the clock. Good night, everybody. <laughs> This has been a Mark Brooks and Bill Cogman production. Producer Association of the CBS Television Network. Rocked and stressed by Larry Oldham. This is Bernd Bennett reminding you to tune in every week at the same time for Beat the Clock. See, nobody wants to use this. I'll get up on it, then I'll be up in the world. How's that? <laughs> now, you notice that in the box that you're in, we have a lot of men's garments. You notice that, Miss Rick, there? Mm -hmm. There they are, see? Now, they should obviously be in your husband's box over here. You have a lot of women's garments. Pick one of those up and show the audience, will you? And uh, the, the, the dress here, that's a lovely woman's <laughs> garment. There we are. We're going to assume they're all women's garments. And the, what you have to do is exchange these things so that you wind up with all of those clothes that are in there now over here in this box, and you put everything that's in that box in this box. Doesn't sound very high, does it? There's only one little catch in it, and that is this. We are going to have you squat down in these boxes. We're going to put lids on them, and what you have to exchange is through these holes in the front of the box. <laughs> Push those clothes out there, toss them over where he can reach them. You do the same thing with those clothes. Toss them over here where she can reach them. When you got them all exchanged, we'll stop the clock, and you'll beat the clock if you do it within the record. Beg pardon? You can't handle You can, but you've got to do it through that hole. I don't care how you do it. If you can reach that far, that's up to you. Take a look over your shoulder to see how many seconds you have. Forty seconds from the time I say go, squat down. Put the lids on. Go. I've ever had anybody enjoy a stunt so much. When you got through getting all your clothes in there, you started to hand them right back out again. <laughs> you didn't want to keep them in there for any of this. All right. The bonus. You get to try the bonus. $100. And Ms. Richter, you stand right there and watch the genetic jackpot board. On it are all of the words of a famous saying or quotation, but they're all mixed up out of order. You've got to move them around on the board so that you wind up with them spelling out just as you'd write the sentence if you were writing it, the famous saying or quotation that we're after in 20 seconds from the time I say go. Do you understand? Okay. Open the curtain. Step up on the platform. Go. idea, but you're wrong. You're wrong. You've got just five seconds. Okay, stop the clock. Spare the rod and spoil the tire. You got it. Right. Congratulations, kid. I love the DJ. You knew it was your time to save it. want to come out that way. Well, now, you've beaten our jackpot clock, so let's see what you've won. Just take a look over here. Mr. and Mrs. Worrell, your prize is Sylvania's exquisite console, the Montclair, with genuine hand-rubbed mahogany inlay doors. Large 21-inch movie clear television with surrounding halo light for the greatest viewing comfort in all television. The Montclair is outstanding in performance and design. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Worrell. You've just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. Thank you. Contestants. 
Bud, we have Mr. and Mrs. Ray uh, Richter from Dalton, Illinois. My goodness, somebody was nervous with this car. Look at it all crumpled up here. Was that you, Ms. Richter? Huh? No, it wasn't. Well, welcome to our show. Nice to have you here. Ray, is it? Yes. Ray, nice to have you here, too. Uh, what do you do? Uh, transportation Department, Indiana Harbor Belt Railroad. I see, and you, you have three children, is that right? Two stepsons and one daughter. Well, isn't that nice? Okay. Well, now, we're going to have a little problem for you in which the, the two of you are going to have to do a little uh, clothes changing. But don't get excited. It's not quite the sort of a thing you might think. If you come over here, I'll show you what it is on the $100 clock. Miss Richter, reason we put you in those coveralls was so you could step in quite modestly into this box over here. Would you mind doing that? Just step up on that little step and step right in there. That's the idea. Now, uh, Ray, if you just step in that box over there. You could, let's see. Manage to uh, have a person try for the bonus done. If you'd seen what I just saw, you would have stopped too. All right, now, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Warrell of Sandersville, Pennsylvania, uh, a problem for you is something you started last week, as a matter of fact. So will you uh, come over here with me? And do you want to hang your coat up there? You can if you want to. Would you like to? Work without your coat. Be a little better, all right? And you come over here with me. Miss uh, Warrell, you just kind of hold good thoughts there for him now, because he's going to be a busy man. For the folks who uh, weren't watching last week, you can take a hold of that if you want to, uh, Don. Uh, he has to stack these boxes up, one on top of the other. Now, that in and of itself doesn't seem too hard. I'll leave one up there for you. Uh, we'll have a little balloon here. Thank you very much, Mal. This is filled with helium. If you let go of it, up in the air she goes. So Don's problem is using that little pad that we have there made out of cardboard and wood, he has to hold that balloon from going up in the air simply under that, like that. Can't press it down against the ground and can't hold it against his body. And while he's holding that trap with one hand, he has to put the boxes up with the other. Take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you had there, Don. 55 seconds from the time I say go. Are you ready? Get it trapped under there now. Got it? Go! But I want your little girl to go swallow any pins each time you have to go back here like that. Who's taking care of the baby? We have a babysitter now. A babysitter now, I see. What's the other little boy? No, girl. Little girl. That's a little, did we give you a little Roxanne doll last week for her? No, we we'll got them tonight. Yeah? Well, we'll we get you one tonight. That's what I want for each of them, as a matter of fact, and grow up to it. Okay, well, now we're going to find out what your problem is on the jackpot clock. That's all yours. You keep thinking about it now. Now, Mrs. Uh, Warrell, it's your turn. And, Don, you, you will stand way down there. You can't help your wife in any way. All you can do is hold good thoughts, and I hope you will for her. Mrs. Warrell, you stand on the far end of that platform. I'll tell you when to get up on the platform. And back of this curtain, as you probably know, is our famous mag... It's time to beat the clock. Do, 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 do. It's time to beat the clock. Lights of Broadway, sights of Broadway, sounds of Broadway all around. And there above shines the Pennsylvania, pioneering light, sight, and sound. Finer products, better products, best in quality. Made for you by Pennsylvania, pioneer for half a century. Beat the clock. Brought by Sylvania, beat the clock to entertain ya. It's time to play Beat the Clock. And now here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Kyer. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, and welcome once more to Beat the Clock, the show where you can have the time of your life playing against time for big-time prizes. Just in case some of you don't know, from time to time, we like to tell you that the voice that you hear putting this show on the air each week belongs to Byrne Bennett, who deserves a round of applause, too. So let's give Byrne a hand, shall we? Now, if you come over here with me, I want you to meet our holdover contestants from last week, Mr. and Mrs. Donald Worrell. Or Warrell, which Warrell. you prefer? Mm -hmm. Don, Donald Warrell of, of uh, what is it? Sanisville. Sanisville, Pennsylvania. You drive a truck out there, don't That's you, Don? Right. And you have two children. Two girls. Now, mm -hmm. I think we were talking to you backstage. You said you had a little mishap today. What happened? Well, uh, baby, uh, Donnie swallowed a pin. And we don't know whether she swallowed it or not, so we had to go to the doctor to get a fluoroscope. 
Everything all right? Or, or so far, yeah. So far, everything is okay. Is it a little girl? or little baby girl, eight months. Eight months old. Yeah. Boy, they get everything in the mouth, don't they, as fast as they can. Well, I just you calm down now. Relax yourselves a little bit and have a little fun with us. I want to explain, too, that we have a new bonus tonight, brand spanking new. And remember, last week, those of you who might not have been with us, for shame, our bonus went last week at $700. God just went along with that thing, picked that ball up in that pot with just about 10 seconds gone, and there it was. Stayed right in there. Didn't roll out for nothing. So now we start with a new one tonight that'll be worth $100. Wherever the bell happens to ring, that'll be the time that we will uh, see how well he does. Come on, bring out the new bonus, will you, girls? Say, now that looks interesting. I like it. I always give you heavy things. Girls, oh, come on. Oh, come on, girls, look. <laughs> well, you missed that. We had a great production number all scheduled there, but nothing happened. So we'll try to do it for you next week. Okay, uh, let's see. Now, Ray, suppose you come on over here. You can look this thing over while I'm getting it untied here. I have here, you see, a pail, and it's on a pulley. See? Now, your problem is going to be simply this. Standing back here, and not going back any further than this curtain at any time, and by jerking this pail, you'll find that you can make it move around a little bit and ultimately swing. And as it starts to swing, you see, you get it to swing over toward this bench and finally get it so that it lands on the bench upright. Here it comes over here now, see? Just by swinging it back and forth like that, you wind up with that pail on this bench upright like this, and we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Got the idea? Okay, now let's take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 45 seconds from the time I say go. Are you ready? Go. Worth $100. try. That was strictly a bonus, you understand. That would have been $100 extra, but you don't lose anything by having tried it. You can still move on now to our $200. Okay, Miss Richter, your children are how old? Two boys, 11 and 8, and a little girl, 5 months. Oh, little girl, 5 months. She's too young for one of our Roxanne dolls yet, isn't she? Well, maybe we can still have them around when she gets a little older.